Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we are going to talk about the crossbow and Icarus and why it is probably the most useless ranged weapon in this game in great detail with numbers. So here we go. Let's start with the aesthetics here first of all, okay? There's only one crossbow in the game. It's a tier two craft and there's no other crossbows in the game. So talking about just the crossbow itself, uh, you get one ammo capacity, a 1200 rate of fire and a four second reload speed. Now, if we compare that, say, with a Tier 2 bow, you know, just a little comparison, right? Uh, the Tier 2 bow, I don't even know where it is on this crafting thing here. Here we go. Is a 25% projectile damage boost. So, all right, keep that in mind. So, let's talk about the ammo. First of all, we've got, I'm going to know the inventory here, in order from Tier 1, or I should say Tier 2 to, to 4, We've got the Iron Bolt for 81 to 90 damage, 20% chance to break. We've got the Copper Bolt, 85 to 95 damage for a 20% chance to break. So, you know, four to five more damage there. And then we've got the Steel Bolt for 90 to 100. A little bit of a boost, five, another five damage, another 20% chance to break. And then we've got the Platinum Bolt, which finally actually has a decent jump here. We've got 104 to 110, so basically a little 10% boost there. And then finally, at the end, we've got the Titanium Bolt for 114 to 120, which is overall better and still a 10% chance to break. Now, let's talk about how good it looks. So this is the bow. Here it is, just in my hands here. Okay, that's just how it looks. Doesn't look anything crazy. It's a basic tier two bow, crossbow, right? Come back in, so this is the Iron Bolt. Next is the copper, and we'll go in order here. And this is the reload speed, by the way. So you're not really going to do a lot of fighting like that. That's the copper bolt. It looks like a Nerf gun bullet. Even got the little orange tip. Then we've got the steel bolt. Pretty much looks like the iron bolt, a little flatter. And with green uh, flares on the end, little feather thingies. Then we got the platinum bolt. Again... Same exact model as the steel one, pretty much, except now it's one color instead of multicolored. And then finally, we've got the titanium. And this is the actually one that only looks that kind of good. Let me step outside of the house here real quick. Uh, still just like one color, but it's got a red arrow or a red feather tips on it now. So that's how they look. Let's talk about the costs involved before we go shoot these things off, right? Let's head to the tech tree. We'll go to uh, tier two here. So obviously, you're going to need four points just to get to the steel bolt. So we've got a wood and two iron per iron bolt. A wood and one copper per copper bolt. So obviously a better ratio here. And then a wood and two steel for the steel bolt. So honestly, if you're going to use any three of these, uh, use the copper bolt. It's 85 to 95. You're barely going to notice that 5% damage drop off from these two. But you'll notice the cost reduction. 12 iron ore for this, plus 2 coal, or 3 copper ore. It speaks for itself. So we go to tier 3, and we unlock one more bolt here. Nothing more, nothing less. We unlock the platinum. 3 epoxy and a platinum ingot. Pretty expensive. Not terrible, but it's still up there. And then finally, we have the titanium in tier 4. 4 screws, a titanium, and a carbon fiber. Again, nothing too crazy, but um, for bolt, it's it's pretty up there, right? So let's head outside and see what we got for some target practice here. All right, as usual, when we talk about these, I've got the kill cam turned off, and you can see I've got the iron bolt on here, and we've got a little wolf here, but because the kill cam's off, we need to make sure our angles are decent here so we can make sure we get that headshot, right? In here, a bear. It better not be right behind me. Right, and I can see a boar over here as well, which is great. All right, wolf, iron bolt. It moved. You piece of crap. And this is why auto, or the kill cam is OP. Because when they move, you doesn't get messed up. I don't think I can hit that. There we go. So 820 with a sneak attack. Not bad. But I mean, it better kill it. <laughs> it better kill it or you're not going to reload in time. Let's take out a copper bullet. Yep, that's how long it takes. Hit him in the face. 900. All right, a little better. These aren't going to one-shot bears, by the way, so... Remind... 
And this character has zero perks in the in the bow skills, so this is base damage, okay? Doesn't get any worse than this. So I'm gonna go find us another creature, and we will then use our steel crossbow bolt. All right, here's a little wolf that we've got to come up here. So we got our steel bolt. 980, so we're making jumps of 80 here, which kind of makes sense. So nothing crazy still. That's that's still not even a one shot on a low level bear, but mind you. So never mind in the Riverlands, you're playing in the forest and you're going to get nothing out of that. So let's move up. This will be the next biggest jump here. We've got platinum. We got another wolf. 1050. Still not a one shot on a bear. Take that back. And then we got a bison over here. So let's put our best one on here. So here's a titanium. So this will be as good as the damage will get. Oh, hello, boar. Oop, he sees me. I'm not going to hit that boar from this angle. I'll hit him in the back. Is he... <laughs> what is he glitched out there we go 1200 so that may kill a low level bear maybe if it's like level two but i wouldn't bank on that for a heartbeat there let's um let's do a quick comparison here so we've got the recurve bow which is you know let me go grab a long bow we'll do a tier two comparison with a like a flint arrow all right, now that we've seen the crossbow damage, let's actually compare it to a true tier two bow. So I've got the long bow here and I've got a flint arrow on. So that's basic tier two. Now, just to go over the damage buff here, this is going to be an extra 25% damage for using this bow. And the flint arrow also gives a 15% critical hit damage. So we've got 63 to 70 projectile damage. Let's see what this will do against a creature. Leave your comments below telling me which crossbow bolt this will beat will it beat the best the titanium will it beat the the platinum steel copper or iron or none of them what do you think leave a comment down below and then we're going to shoot this boar but if you are new here make sure you hit that like button down below subscribe as well so you get back into that sweet shabby content all right so let's go can this thing just not be like glitched into a wall you know what look your buddy's coming here you ready and we shoot 882. There's your damage. So if you guessed that, it would beat... I think it was the steel one, right? Let me see. I need to get my crossbow back on here. It's not on me. But if you go back, I'm pretty sure that beat the steel. Can you chill, bro? I'm just trying to save your life. There you go. So if you thought it would beat the steel one, that's the one it did beat. So really, even compared to tier 2 only... It is still the best tier 2 option to use for reload capacity, for just speed of killing, damage overall, and for proper resource management. So, all right, guys, if you found this useful, make sure you hit that like button down below. But until then, I'll see you all next time. This has been Shabby Doon. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.